Yo, sorry, I know you probably weren't expecting to see me this early into the video, but I just thought I'd pop in just to mention that obviously in this video, you're only gonna be seeing episodes six and seven. Usually I like to do a whole five episodes, um, but life kind of got in the way and you guys have said that you'd prefer to have six and seven early rather than waiting even longer for the rest. Um, so I'll be back with the rest of the episodes at the beginning of next week. And this video was already lengthy enough as is with just these two episodes. But yeah, so that's what's happening. So I'll see you soon with the rest, but enjoy this one for now. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Hi, <laughs> welcome into another video. We're here, we're sitting down to watch Game of Thrones, Joffrey Stead. Spoiler alert, sorry, if you've not watched any of the others or any of Game of Thrones, I'm sorry, but there you go, spoiler. Okay, Joffrey is dead. <laughs> Fucking brilliant, buzzing about that, actually. That's the main takeaway from the first part. Obviously, we've got loads of other things happening, like Sansa's situation and the fact that she's with God knows what a fucking face is, but she's weird. Anyway, we're not gonna rehash the whole first half. If you wanna go watch it, it's on the channel, as well as all the other um, parts from the previous season. So if this is the first thing you're seeing from me in terms of Game of Thrones, maybe check them out and then come back to this one. But, we are just going to crack on in. Before we do, I wanted to just quickly shout out the patrons. Thanks for being over there. Thanks for supporting the channel. Um, it's because of you guys that I obviously can keep doing this as a job. So thank you so much. Check out my merch. <laughs> I literally just released new merch. Well, when I'm filming this, it was yesterday. Um, so check out my new merch. It's fun. And it's called the Catchphrase Collection. So if you want to check it out, this is one of the pieces. Um, it'll be linked down below. And check out my second channel if you want. If you want other content besides reactions, that'll also be linked down below, or you can just type in bitmarbrad and it should come up. Dear fucking God, what are we doing? What are we doing? This isn't sexy. Sorry, Rihanna. Sorry, sorry. But yeah, let us go and let us do this because this is going to be long. Ooh. I've heard I've heard this second half is buck, right? Like, not so. Boy, was I unprepared. <laughs> oh, it is iconic. It stays being iconic. Hi, girls. Where are we going? Oh my god, what? I mean, that is gorgeous. What a structure, you know? Fuck. Who are we? These are new, I think. <laughs> Can't trust me. Welcome to the Iron Bank, please. I don't think we've been here before. Okay, got it, Iron Bank, locked in. What can we do for you, Lord Stannis? This is Stannis of the House Baratheon, King of the Andals and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of- Yep, we get it, of course. The Iron Throne is currently occupied by Tommen of the House Baratheon. Which is fucking crazy, I might add. Fucking crazy. He shares no blood with me. He is a bastard, born of incest. And you feel your blood gives you a claim on our go. I'm afraid we must respectfully decline your request. So we're getting no funds, babes, getting no doll. All right. My lord. I'm not a lord, sir Davos Seaworth. I mean, quite frankly, I don't like Stannis and I don't want him to be king, so I don't give a shit. Daenerys for me, babes, all the way. Oh yeah. This is the payment that was demanded by King Stannis for my crime. He's an honest man and he's your best chance to get back the money you've sunk into Westeros. Period. Kinda period. Who's the real power in King's Landing? Tywin Lannister. 67, and when he dies, who's in command? A half-grown boy. 
The product of incest, Cersei Lannister, a queen whose people despise her. Jaime Lannister, a man best known for killing the king. He's making many points, to be quite honest. Like, I don't like Stannis, but nor do I like the Lannisters. He's a tried and tested battle commander, and he doesn't just talk about paying people back, he does it. God, he kinda... It came to bat for him there, didn't he? Come on, Sir Davos. Oh. <laughs> I will hunt down every islander still on our lands and flay them living. Oh, uh, we're off for Theon. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm, I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out. Signed, Ramsay Snow, natural born son of Roos Bolton. Do you know what's kind of annoying? Now, maybe this is brave of me to say, but Ramsay is cute. Like, just to look at, he's cute. Why have you got to be a nutcase, though? You know? As long as they can hurt our prince with impunity, the word Iron Born means nothing. She's getting him riled up. Go on, girl. <gasps> and somebody else is riled up too. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Also, other question while we're just infiltrating here. Does it ever feel that good that you need to be screaming? Wow, that's, that's a great question. You know? you know? Straight people. <laughs> Lost Kate in the right. Thank you. She, she is serving. She is serving though, isn't she? Now come on now. A sissy's here. Oh! It's all right. It's me. He's going to be petrified because the amount of times... You can't trick me. Tell them you couldn't trick me. I'm not tricking you, Theon. I'm saving not you. Not Theon. Really? Yeah, I was just about to say, I, I imagine he's going to be so traumatised from being double-crossed so many times. He's, he's not going to believe any of this. This is turning into a lovely evening. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh God, oh God, he's brave to just be like shirtless doing all this. Oh my God, Reek is biting her, Theon, stop it. Hear me my brother, and no more of your men will die. How fast can you run? Who let the dogs out? Hold, 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 hold. Shit. To the ship, now. For your brother. My brother's dead. Yeah, I mean, he's reek now. I have a treat for you. A reward. Reward. God, he's really got to him. I thought he might have just been acting good, but no, he's really got to him. Those creatures who came in the night, they wanted to take you away. And you didn't let them. I didn't want them to take me. I was so scared. I didn't yes. want them. Yes, reek. Crazy. Mind games, people. Mind games. It's a bath for you. Oh, it's not gonna be though, is it? There's gonna be something fucked up about it that always is. Is it acid? <laughs> oh, it's really fucked him. It's really fucked him up. The bridge is too reek. Take him off. I mean, there's nothing to see. So, like, no need to be modest, babes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Insensitive. Do you love me, reek? What the What the <laughs> Hey? Do I fuck? Yes, of course, my lord. <laughs> what the fuck? Guys, this is some this is some sick and twisted bullshit, this is. Good. Because I need you to do something for me. Something oh. very important. Here we go. We'll give him something a little bit nice and then BAM! I need you to play a role. To pretend to be someone you're not. Tend to be who? Theon Greyjoy. This is crazy. Is he really that that reekified, you know? Bonkers, man. Bonkers. <laughs> oh my god. The dragons are getting big. They are. They're getting big. Dorzalti. Merino Daria, Andaros the Aerio Varo Daria. Imagine being someone that like just sits there while 
All these nice things are being said. Like every introduction is like lengthy as fuck. Like Brad, the leader of the world. The, <laughs> the freer of the people, you know? Fucking crazy. It was your dragons, he says. They came this morning for his flock. The dragons are starting to really just rebel against us, aren't they? Oh. I cannot bring back his goats, but I will see he has paid their value three times over. That's tough. That's tough bullshit, that is. The tradition of funeral rite, proper burial in the Temple of the Graces. My father and 162 noble Miranese are still nailed to those posts. Oh. <laughs> but I don't give a fuck. I was just about to say, they don't deserve a burial. Did those did they give those kids a burial? And what of the slave children these noble Marinese crucified? Would you beg me for their right to a proper burial? Exactly! Maybe we pick out the best of the bunch. Right? But other than that, keep them there. I cannot defend the actions of the masters. I can only speak to you as a son who loved his father. Let me take his body down. Nah. Nah. Bury your father. Nah, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. If we start answering all this, every fucker's gonna come to us with sob stories and being like, oh, my dad was actually a really nice man. Because how do we know he's telling the fucking truth? People lie, right? In this show, people lie. More whispers from the east, my lord. The Targaryen girl. She has conquered the city and rules as its queen. Period. Normand is spying on her for us. Okay, so I actually forgot that. And even then, although I looked like I was listening, oh honey, this wasn't switched on, but we are gonna remember that moving forward because uh, it becomes relevant, okay? Dragons haven't won a war in 300 years. Armies win them all the time. Y'all are crazy to think that you can win against three, just three dragons. Fire. They breathe fire. Fire burns people, <laughs> you know? Well, this is gonna go down like a sack of shit. Oh, honey. <laughs> honey. <laughs> kind of pussy. Oh. oh, I'm chained. It's kind of good. I wouldn't mind it. Kind of makes you feel a bit rugged, doesn't it? Oh. I, Tommen of the House Baratheon. Yeah. First of my name. King of the Andals and the First Men. Absolutely. Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. What? Do hereby recuse myself from this trial. Tywin of the House Lannister will sit as judge in my stead. I wonder whose idea that was, hey? Tommen's having no say. Even though he's the king, see you later. To be honest, he's young. Let him leave. He didn't need to be overseeing this bullshit. Stand accused by the Queen Regent of Regicide. Did you kill King Joffrey? No. Okay, so guys, time does pass, right? Many half-truths are spoken. The only notable part, before we really get to the juice, is this. She wore this necklace. Terrible poison was found inside. They have fucked over Sansa there. They really have. They've fucked her over. So let's just hope they don't get Sansa back, hey? I confronted him about his plans to put Joffrey on the front lines. When the attack came, Joff insisted on remaining at the battlements. He believed his presence would inspire the troops. We're, we're telling lies and fabrications here today. What did? I discovered he'd been keeping whores in the Tower of the Hand. Another one. He wasn't pleased. We're telling lies and fabrications. Why am I surprised? We're all lying, we all know it, and we're all gonna go along with it. Thank you, Your Grace, for the courage of your testimony. Like, no fucker's innocent, especially not Cersei, of all people. This isn't a trial, it's a farce. Cersei has manipulated everything, and you know it. I know nothing of the sort. Then you're thick as well, Tywin. What happens to your dynasty when Tyrion dies? I'm a king's god, forbidden by oath to carry on the family line. What happens to my dynasty if I spare the life of my grandson's killer? It survives through me. I'll leave the king's god. Period. Done. What? what? In three days' time, he'll depart for Castle Black and live out his days at the war. You will leave King's Landing to assume your rightful place at Casterly Rock. 
Guys, this is so much bullshit. You have my word. And you have mine. I mean, at least at least Tyrion's not dying. He's also used this as a reason to like make Jamie fall in line, realistically. You can't serve in the King's Guard with one hand. We're going to be found guilty. Oh, you think so? And you are. You need to enter a formal plea for mercy and ask to be sent to the wall. Father's agreed to it. Cersei's gonna be mad. Cersei's gonna be furious if he doesn't get killed. Crown may call its next witness. Oh my god, is it gonna be Shay? What the actual fuck? What in God's name is this? A bullshit? A bullshit? I thought she'd made it out! Do you know this man? Yes. Tyrion Lannister. This is crazy. This is really crazy! This man stands accused of murdering King Joffrey. What do you know of this? I know that he's guilty. He and Sansa planned it together. They've got to her. They've told her that she's got to say this shit or, or she would get killed. Because they know that they were obviously like giving it some, you know? He hated Joffrey. He hated the queen. He hated you, my lord. She said she wasn't scared of these people. Why would he reveal such plans to his wife's maid? I was his whore. I beg your pardon? You're a whore. And your mother was a whore. And her mother. You said you were his... His whore. This is crazy! What? I kissed him where he wanted. I licked him where he wanted. I let him put himself where he... Uh -uh. This is getting very graphic. Shay? Shay. Please don't. This is craziness. I am a whore. Oh my God, because that's what he said to her when he told her that she had to leave. After that, all he wanted was her, but she wouldn't let him into her bed. What the fuck? So he promised to kill King Joffrey for her. She is really fucking us over here. Oh my God, she's really fucking us over here. I will not believe that this is just her being scorned because it because he like told her to leave. I saved this city and all your worthless lives. I should have let Stannis kill you all. Fuck him. Do you wish to confess? Do you admit you poisoned the king? No. Of that I'm innocent. I'm guilty of being a dwarf. You are not on trial for being a dwarf. Oh. I've been on trial for that my entire whole life. life. Whole life, baby! You've all hated me since birth! I did not kill Joffrey, but I wish that I had. Watching your vicious bastard die gave me more relief than a thousand lying whores. Yeah, fucking gasp, because it's the truth! Oh my god, I've got goosebumps, I really have. Whew. I wish. I was the monster you think I am. He's serving. I wish I had enough poison for the whole pack of you. I would gladly give my life to watch you all swallow it. Fucking yeah. Fucking yeah. Nah, fucking period. I'm sorry, but it's about time that he was allowed to say some shit. I will not give my life for Joffrey's murder, so I will let the gods decide my fate. I demand a trial by combat. Oh my god, but who's fighting for us? Who? This is sickening. This is sickening. I am very impressed with what just happened here. I've got to pause it, okay. Obviously, we'll get into the next episode, but oh my god, what a speech. Years and years of just being degraded and like people plotting against him and hating him for just being himself. The, something he has no control over. Oh my god. And that's all this is. They've been looking for a reason to kill him, to like make him feel less than his whole life. And they've been they've been doing it. 
This is just another one of those times. This is all performative. Now, I, now, who knows? Maybe, maybe, like, I can imagine that maybe they do have their suspicions about Sansa. But I mean, also, given how she was treated, if she did do it, could you blame her? Like, yes, fair enough. He was part of the Lannister name, whatever. He was some people's son, whatever. But we all can agree that he was a fucking horrible person. It's crazy. It is craziness. And what happened there with Shay was gaggy. But I, I do also, once again, find it hard to believe that that was just her purely being a woman scorned because he didn't want her. Because I do think Shay's quite smart in that I'm sure she could see the reasons why he didn't want her. And surely she could see that he was only pushing her, her away for her own benefit. And we obviously know, because we saw it in a previous episode, that they knew that Shay and Tyrion were obviously seeing each other, whatever. And they've... I mean, I'm pretty sure there was that whole story about when he fell in love before and then they killed killed her or whatever or they fucked that up and this is just another one of those things like they they do not want to see him happy anyway i need to stop talking because we're literally one episode in but anyway let's move on to episode seven <sighs> wow that was that was already impeccable work let's go you fell in love with a whore yes i fell in love with a whore and i was stupid enough to think that she had fallen in love with me she did, ho. There is no way in hell Shay was, was like, lying the whole time. It was everything Father wanted. You do see that. He gets you back as his heir. So I'm saying, that is, like, his perfect ending to this whole thing. You're the golden son. You could kill a king, lose a hand. Fuck your own sister. You'll always be the golden son. Careful. There was no lies. That's what you are doing. Don't give up on me just yet. I survived one trial by combat, even though you weren't there to save me. I can't save you this time either. My training has proved that I can't beat a stable boy with my left hand. Oh, uh, we're fucked. Well, yes! Shit. Bronn fought for me once, he'll do it again. Who does Cersei plan on naming as a champion? I hope it's Samarin Trant. I'd enjoy watching Bronn disembowel that pompous child beater. And so would I. No. Who is it? Who? Not Samarin. Who's it gonna be? Who the fuck are you? Oh, horrid, horrid, horrid. Who, Who are, are you? you? Sir Gregor. Some of you are real twisted. Twisted, twisted fuckers. You seem to be in good form. Who am I fighting? Does it matter? Who is that? <laughs> okay, so I do get there eventually, but I just thought I'd jump in and mention that this is obviously Gregor Clegane, a.k.a. The Mountain, but they've just recast him. That's not going to get better. Haven't you had enough? I know. Time to go. Oh, we're going to put him out of his misery. Unfortunately, yes. Oh. The thought has occurred to me. So why go on? It's so sad. Sat there just dying. Imagine. <laughs> I know it's for the best, but God, that was brutal. That's where the heart is. That's how you kill a man. They got me, gal. Oh my God, that really surprised me. Oh dear fucking God. The fuck are you doing? There's a price on your head. Yes, that's what the king does when you tell me to fuck off. <sighs> Sorry, that really scared me, guys. Oh, Lord. You were Yaren's prisoners when he was taking me to the wall. He told me he'd fuck me bloody with a stick. Yeah, that's him. He on your little list. He can't be. He ought to be. I don't know his name. What's your name? Rouge. Thank you. What? <laughs> You're learning. Aria. Oh my god, guys, she's turning into quite the little assassin, isn't she? My, my mustache is in my in my mouth. <laughs> Lord Snow, this is no place for wild beasts. You can fuck off. Him away. Uh, you can fuck off. Or I'll let Hob throw him in tonight's stew. Careful, I'll let him fucking eat you. I can't stand him. I hope he dies. 
Come on, ghost. The way he talks grates on me. The things he says grates on me. The way he acts grates on me. All of it. We should seal the tunnel. And how would we range north? We wouldn't. You would cut off our legs. We can't defend the gate against 100,000 men. Exactly. What's not clicking? What's not clicking? And like, if you're still, if you're here and you're waiting for them to come to you, you have the upper hand. Have you ever seen a giant, Sir Alistair? The bars on those gates are four inches thick, cold rolled steel, and they won't stop them. You're very naive, sir. Him and his stubborn, stubborn ways is going to get everybody killed. Sent for you days ago. I've been a bit busy. Doing what? My lonesome bachelor days are over. He's got a wife. I'm to wed Lollis Stokeworth. He's got a wife now. I don't think he's going to fight for us. He's got a wife coming, you know? You once said, if anyone ever asked me to sell you out, you'd double their price. If you want me to kill the mountain for you, it better be a damn big castle. Oh yeah, that's that's who Sir Gregor is, right? That's the mountain. I know what's happening here. I'm a bit short on costs at the moment, but I can offer you gold in gratitude. I have gold. He 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 ain't gonna fight for us. Oberon Oberon's gonna do it. <laughs> and I doubt Pedro Pascal's gonna be killed off. <laughs> Like, within the same season that he arrives, you know? That doesn't seem likely. Why should I risk it? Yeah, he's not doing it. I knew he wouldn't. Because you're my friend. Aye. And when have you ever risked your life for me? <sighs> Damn, that's rough. Well, I'm afraid you've not really been in the line of fire, have you, up to now? So we've not really had the chance. <laughs> I'm sorry it has to be this way. Why are you sorry? You're an evil bastard with no conscience and no heart. What I liked about you in the first place. This is the thing, you gotta give it to Tyrion, is very understanding of people's feelings and their perspectives. Not many people have that in this show. It was the same with Pod. Like, the way he handled that situation. Like, what a guy. How did you get in here? Your door is well guarded. Dario. <laughs> I swam to an island a mile offshore for these. Don't do that again. Never met a woman who didn't like wildflowers. <laughs> These are my private quarters. If I want you here, I will summon you. Forgive me, my queen. I, I live to serve you. Oh, he's... Uh, oh, I wish you'd live to serve me. Oh, oh. Him, Oberyn. Mm, mm. Ten out of ten. I only have two talents in this world. War and women. As for women... There are thousands in Marine you can pursue. There's only one. And she does not want me. <gasps> oh, it's spicy and I like it. I like it. You swore me your sword. My sword is yours till the day I die. And this big sword. <sighs> I'm sweating a bit. Let me do what I do best. Very well. Do what you do best. Babes, if you don't want him in your quarters, send him to go murder some folk. But like, I'd be, I'd be saying murder this puss first, you know? But I guess it clouds judgment on her part. She don't need to be fraternizing with no men. Take off your clothes. <laughs> Never mind. Never fucking mind. Let's see what we're dealing with, sir. Oh yeah. And y'all expect me to be... Lord have mercy, I'm about to burst. Y'all expect me to be fine and not not say things, you know, not make not make a mockery of myself. Most of these powers and potions, lies, deceptions to make men think they witnessed our Lord's power. Bear areolas next to an open flame. That is brave. Did you use it with Stannis? No act done in service of the Lord can ever be called a sin. Crazy. She's like happy to con like to condone cheating because the Lord of Light says so, I guess. You are strong enough to look into the Lord's light and see his truth for yourself. Well, what is the motherfucker saying? Because I want to know. You don't need my help. 
but I will need yours soon. When we set sail, your daughter must be with us. Oh, for fuck's sake. She better not be sacrificed, I'll tell you that much. Because she's done nothing wrong. Can I get you anything else? Mm -hmm. No, this will do nicely, thank you. Goodie pie is wonderful, thanks. Oh, it's him! Oh, wow, I didn't think we'd see him again. That's lovely. A good kidney pie is all about the ingredients. Flour, lard, water. We don't care. It was just a compliment, babes. We don't need the recipe. <laughs> what brings you to these parts? We're looking for someone. Someone in particular? Maybe they came in here. In here. A lot of people come in here. Come in. I mean, just the other day, we had seven... Stop! My God, I can't go. Hey, Tall, red hair, very pretty. Her name is Sansa Stark, but she may be using a different name. No, I ain't seen anyone like that. Oh, there was all traitors. That was smart of him, realistically, because he, he he obviously has seen Arya Stark. So nice of him to not say it, because you never know with these people. I pledged my life to their mother, Captain Stark. I swore to her I'd bring her daughters home. Sure, I can't get you a bit more kidney pie. Loyal, we like it. I'm very loyal. I am completely loyal. Quite loyal. I'm a very loyal girl. Yeah, not yet, yeah. But is it? But is he going to tell us? He's going to tell us that it's seen Arya. You seem like a proper lady. No, someone who could be trusted. Never met no Sansa Stark. But I know her sister. Yeah, you fucking do. Yeah, you fucking do. Yeah, you fucking do. Let's find Arya too. Look, if you, if you find her, could you give her this? You should like the last one I gave her, but this one turned out better. Oh, I hope we do find Arya. I need some reuniting. Oh, another wolf. And it is better than the last one. I will give him that. I need some people to start reuniting now, all right? I want I want Arya to get back to Sansa. I want Brienne to go and protect them both. Okay? What did I say? I know it's gonna happen. Cersei approached me. It is rare to meet a Lannister who shares my enthusiasm for dead Lannisters. Fuck him. <laughs> Period! She desperately wants to see you killed. She didn't need to bother you. It looks as though I've taken care of that myself. No! We met, you and I, many years ago. Our father brought me and my sister Elia with him on a visit to Casterly Rock. I didn't like anything about the rock. Not the food, not the weather, not your accents, nothing. Can't blame you. But the biggest disappointment, you. You and my family have more in common than you might admit. <laughs> Literally. I was just about to say the same. All anyone talked about was the monster that had been born to Tywin Lannister. Y'all are fucking crazy. A, a monster. Then she and your brother took us to your nursery and... Not like you expected, hey? Just a baby. What about the baby? Oh, the baby sucking the daddy. She unveiled the free. That's not a monster, I told Cersei. That's just a baby. What did she say though? And she said he killed my mother. It doesn't matter. She told us, everyone says he will die soon. I hope they are right. God, so she's really been horrid and disgusting since he was born. Like I know obviously we've had that conversation with Tywin and obviously he's kind of like confirmed that. But like Cersei as well was like, Gunning for him since birth. Sooner or later, Sassy always gets what she wants. And what about what I want? Justice. Yeah, you do. <gasps> yeah, you do. If you want justice, you've come to the wrong place. I disagree. Come on, tell me. I know I'm correct. Come on, spit it out. I want to bring those who have wronged me to justice. And all those who have wronged me are right here. I will begin with Sir Gregor Clegane. Fuck yeah, you will. Who killed my sister's children and then her with their blood still on his hands before killing her too. Say it again. Say it again. Come on. Will it be known? Will it be known? known. I'm ready. I will be your champion. Yeah, you will. <sighs> oh, we could weep, couldn't we? We could really weep. <sighs> what brilliant, brilliant news. Oh, we're back with Sansa. Hey, Zal, how are we doing? Staying away from that. Freakazoid, I hope. Whoa, that's gorgeous. She does suit the snow, doesn't she? She really does. The pale skin, the red hair. It just works. 
Hello, Robin. And that one can fuck off too. What are you doing? I'm building my home, Winterfell. I stay here in Eerie. Mother says it's dangerous on the road and I have to keep myself safe because I'm the Lord of the Vale and the Lord of the Vale is a very important person. Mm. God. We don't need another, another child with a god complex, do we? We really don't. Does Winterfell have a moon door? No, I'm afraid not. Let's put a moon door in your Winterfell. It can go in here, in this big Be palace. careful. You've ruined it, and I'm going to have to rebuild the whole I thing. I ruin it. Death. You're being stupid. I didn't ruin it! <laughs> this is not surprising to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, she slapped him. She slapped him. She slapped him. Fucking period, but oh my god, that's not, that's not going to be good for us. Children. He deserved it. <laughs> ah, spoiled little brat. I was trying to remember what everything looked like. I'll never see it again. Never say never. never. He wants to be with her. Why did you really kill Joffrey? She, she is hot commodity. She is. He wants to be with her. Because then he has some sort of status. I loved your mother more than you could ever know. Given the opportunity, what do we do to those who've hurt the ones we love? In a better world, one where love could overcome strength. You can step back a bit, my guy. I don't need to smell your breath. You might have been my child, but we don't live in that world. So instead, he's going to make you his wife, i tell you that much. You're more beautiful than she ever was. Oh my god, this is so sick and twisted. Lord Baelish. Call me Peter. <laughs> I am disgusted. Oh, this is so sick. Guys, it's really sick and twisted, that is. And Lysa's seen him. Guys, that's so sick and twisted. Like, I knew it, but that is so sick and also twisted. What a disgusting man. Oh, and Lysa's gonna be mad with her. She slapped her son and she's kissed the man she loves. She ain't gonna be happy. Come here, Sansa. Oh my God, we're not going nowhere near that moon door. No, no, no. I know what you did. I'm so sorry, Aunt Lysa. I never should have hit Robin, I know it. I... She didn't know that. You won't be have coy with me, you little whore. You kissed him. You kissed Peter. I didn't, you don't understand. I saw you. Oh, here we go again. She's a... No. I pulled a liar. <laughs> here we go, here it is. Here it is. Look down! Look down! Look down! Look down! Lisa! She is crazy. She is sick and also twisted. Let her go. She's just like her mother. She'll never love you. I lied for you. I killed for you. Um, boo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sick of this for Sansa. I'm so sick and tired, guys. Give the girl a rest. You know? Oh my god. Oh my sweet wife. <laughs> nah, nah, she's not a sweet wife though, is she? I see Peter maybe killing her. I have only loved one woman my entire life. It's not her. It's not her. And it's not her. Push her out. Is he gonna Your sister? <gasps> Is he gonna push her out? <laughs> oh my god, I did it! actually did it. This, this is some next level bullshit now. Like the first half that had the fuckery, but two episodes into the second half and what the fuck is going on here? He has killed her. Oh my God. I mean, it makes total sense because he doesn't need her. They're married now, so he's already got like her status, right? Oh my God. Obviously he clearly is fuckingly weirdly, <laughs> that's not words, is clearly more interested in what Sansa can offer him. 
What a dirty, dirty man, but also not mad that he's just killed her off because couldn't stand her either. Jealousy is really, it's the root of a lot of problems. And she was rife with it. She really was. And I mean, given the stories that we've heard from like their childhood and whatnot, she's been riddled with it from a young age. So, good riddance. Okay, and with all that said and done, um, I'll see you at, probably at the beginning of next week with the final three episodes of season four. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss it. So if you've not um, subscribed yet, liked, comment, do all the things, um, comment down below sick and twisted if you made it to this point, because I feel like that's the main thing I've said throughout these two episodes. Um, and yeah, I'll see you soon. A, a few days and I'll be back. Get ready, it's an umdinger. All right, love yous, bye.